just get rid of these last ones. Okay, so now let's look at this rule. This rule says, use this rule to find the missing in and the out numbers. All right, we haven't done that before. Okay, so what's the rule? The rule says, add 4 to the in number to get the out number. So we'll start in the beginning because we've got... We've got some n numbers here, as we normally did. Okay, so we would go 0. Why does this come on all the time? 0, add 4, equals 4. So we stick a 4 in there. And then we're going to go 3, add 4, equals 7. So we stick a 7 in there. And then we've got 15. Add 4 equals, and you know that is, 19. So we stick a 19 in there. Right. Now we've done those, but now we've got our answers. So let's do it the other way around. Let's look at it like this. Let's take those away. Let's say, question mark, add 4 will give us, so whatever that is, add 4 will give us 5. So if you look at that, what can you tell? Something plus 4 gives us 5. What is it? It's 1. 1 plus 4 gives us 5. Now, what you could have done as well is you could have subtracted these two numbers. So if you do the opposite of what it is, you would have got the number. So four, 5 take 4 would have given you 1. Let's do it again. So question mark plus 4, because we know we've got a plus 4, will give us 26. Mm. So what plus 4 gives us 26? Well, if we subtract those two, 26 take 4, we actually get 22. And that's the answer. 22 plus 4 gives you 26. 24. So if you're going over the, if you're moving and you're doing over the, the equal sign, you actually do the opposite of what they were doing. So let's try it one more time. Question mark plus 4 equals 10. Can you do this one on your own? Subtract those two, and let's see what you get. 6. Well done. And now we've answered them all. So go ahead and try this part.